Victims of domestic abuse could receive a wide range of new protections under what the government is calling landmark legislation for England and Wales. The new proposals include a ban on abusers cross-examining their victims in family courts. They'll also widen the definition of domestic abuse to include psychological coercion and economic abuse. Our correspondent Frankie McCamley has been speaking to a survivor of domestic abuse. He would control the finances, so comment on what I spent, how much I spent, ask me why I spent something so I'd just stop. If I was going out with my friends, he'd comment on the outfit, it was too short, I looked too fat. Sarah, not her real name, survived years of non-physical domestic abuse. In isolation, it's little things, but as a course of conduct every day, you start to feel ugly. You start to feel that you're not good enough. She finally left her abuser, but to fight for custody for their child, she had to face him in the family courts where he was allowed to cross-examine her. It re-traumatises you. He was allowed to tell me how to think for three years. So by allowing him to cross-examine me in court for three hours, it took me back to a place I thought I'd have got away from. This isn't an uncommon story. Another victim whose identity we're protecting has been campaigning for change for years. You, you feel absolutely helpless and you feel like you're a criminal. It's, and family court isn't because anybody's done anything wrong. A draft domestic abuse bill now aims to stop this practice. It includes a ban on abusers cross-examining their victims, a new definition of abuse, including economic abuse, where victims have no control over their finances, and new orders that could force abusers into rehabilitation programmes. We want to give victims and survivors the confidence of knowing that if they think they're in an unhealthy relationship, that they can seek help and they will receive it. Campaigners are cautiously welcoming this bill, but with no new money being pledged to help tackle the problem and so little parliamentary time available, they're questioning how effective this new legislation could be. Some lawyers say legal aid cuts have led to double the number of people representing themselves in family court since 2011, and that's not all. We've got no refuge spaces, we've got wasting lists for rape crisis centres, we've got too few police officers. I think it's, the purpose of the bill is great, but I think we need to see the fine detail and we need to know where the money's coming from. Which is a question some families may also be asking. A domestic abuse bill with big aspirations, but with budgets tight, can it really deliver? Frankie McCamley, BBC News.